Oh wow, yeah. are you sure? Yeah. Did you hunt Absolute legend. Yeah. Well, supposedly she still haunts the hotel at the moment. Glenn. Hello, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to meet you, Keith. Madeline. 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 Uh, these guys want a little tour of our car. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another episode from Glenn and Maddo. We are currently in the Otago region on the way to St. Bacchus, and we just stopped off at it's, a yeah. festival stall so as we speak. We, we just uh, passed by Clyde. So it's another, I don't know, 40 minutes or so, 30 minutes to get to St. Uh, Clyde. So we're just here on one of our beloved little spruce stalls and like just checking out if there's anything you want to I get. I think a lot of the stock is gone, but we have garlics for $7 with walnuts, oh, hazelnuts. Right, we have pizzas for sale. Oh, they're the main So there's the price list. How much are they? I'm not completely sure. Flat tall. $6 for these. $6. That's a decent price. Is it six dollars? I think so, yeah, it is six dollars. Even have a, a machine for payments but if you how want. Does it work? I don't know, chicken. Cash? You can, there's a cash machine beside you as well. Ah. In the cash box. Yep, so that's the story there. We do like supporting the locals, but I don't think we actually need any of the stuff that's currently yeah, no. for sale. We haven't come across eggs. Well. No, we always look out, guys, on the stalls, check them out, see if we actually want anything. Or do we need anything, especially eggs? Eggs are a big demand for us. We would easily eat 10 eggs a day, easy. And we have the lovely sheep in the background with the lovely mountains. It's an absolutely gorgeous spot. But the further land you go in, guys, it gets intense with the heat. So let's go to St. Batons. That's a nice yeah, looking house. Cool. It's purple doors. Are you using some uh, dry shampoo, Maddo? It, I'm, I'm so hot, like. It is hot, it was windy and hot. Yeah, that's the story. Let's go. It's so dry here, but that's what they say, Glenn. It's really dry. S Central Otago is known to be like very dry it's like a in desert. summer. So the cows, the, the fields, it's so dry and it's ready for. Oh, look at all the bikes, man, on the right. Look at the bikes, the bike fence. That's so oh weird. God. That's the thing in New Zealand, it's just to make funny creations. I mean, because I think this area is really, you can go on a lot of cycle tracks, that's why I think. And look at all them uh, post books. Oh, yeah. That's really amazing. Look at this, all them post boxes. That's pretty cool. Oh my God, <laughs> so that's everybody post... on the street. <laughs> so the postman only has to come like once and then... That's and pretty that's convenient. Everybody. They probably all live in the middle of nowhere here. That's so cool. That's pretty cool. I just wanted some eggs in the side of the road. Yeah, but the, the eggs sale. I know, that's... That's a deep Eggs for sale. Yeah, the problem is like that you we always stop at all them stalls and sometimes they're just like yeah empty so that's the thing. Raspberries. Any raspberries? Oh no! Empty again. See, that's what happens. No! Oh. No, it's empty, just egg boxes. Ah. Why? Hair's Why? broken. I want some eggs. Insane. Yeah, that's something completely new. I've never seen that before. Never seen that in New Zealand. No. On oh, dry land, the mountains. Yeah. Very unusual. The people cycling. So do you say Otago eggs? Are, are, are they empty or are they? Are they uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. One dozen. Glenn, what is a dozen? It's Twelve. Twelve eggs. <gasps> oh, full. Okay. Take buddy. three packets. <laughs> three packets, Madeline. Yeah. Get I'm them taking all. three of them. I know it's a bit bold, but. Thanks for buying our eggs, we hope you enjoyed them. Is it mad if you're buying them all? No, I think she has more in stock. $24, that's good, that's a bargain. We are absolutely no loaded up, guys. A few doors down, there's more eggs, $5, a dozen. How? That can't be a right, that's too cheap. That is too cheap. Why is it so cheap? These are from the Peckham Bamptons. The eggs are smaller yolk and the same size as hen egg, just less egg white. Ah, look at the size of them. They're interesting. I never tried these type of eggs, but there you go. Bantam chicken eggs. Unusual, but let's try them out anyway. Guys, we just stopped here. It's not a viewpoint, but like it just looks insane. There's just nothing really. It's like desert land or something. It's very dry. I think it's really dangerous with the fires. Push fire? Not yeah, fire, with, with the, the wind, fire. Wind. With the wind. The wind dries everything out. Yeah, the wind dries everything and then, yeah, something catches fire. A lot of farms. So we passed by a lot of farms. Um, a 
and we have another 30 minute drive to St. Batten. It's actually longer than I thought. It's a pretty cool drive, so I hope it's worth checking out St. Batten's. I'm really excited. There's not a lot of people talk about St. Batten's. We actually got it recommended from a local. I think we should stop there for a coffee. Oh, this is so cool. Commercial hotel. Maybe I will. Gold mine. Where? There's a gold mine. Oh my god, Turn look at that. around, turn around, stay in front of the place. Welcome to Amakau guys, a little beautiful little town. Wow. It is lovely, it's gorgeous. There's not a lot going on, but it's also nice to explore these little towns. We're going into a cafe to grab a bit of coffee actually, so that's the situation. Hi, how are you? How are you, you good? Oh, just caught you on time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Can I get a regular long black please? Why oh, you have all the bikers over here? Right, so this is the little town now. We're just gonna just quickly checking out here. Oh, there's, a, there's, a bike, there's a bike on the wall. Look, they like bikes in this nice. town, don't they? It's a cyclist town, I think. A lot of bikers actually pass through, even motorbikes. And there's a small little local gas station. That is awesome. Yeah, that's literally all, guys. That is literally all. Everything is here. So uh, some uh, local pilots. We have a gold mine store around the corner, which we can actually check out. It's not a gold mine, it's just an old gold mine store from the past, but obviously something else inside. Um, I think it looks like a, like an op store or so. Is that an op store down there, is it? It's mad, he's mad. Uh, Sorry? He's only got a coat, he can't move out of that office. There oh, he can't? Go. What did he sell in there? No, he's firearms and pieces. This is his head is a big X. Oh, okay, okay. He has got junk in there, he tries to sell. All right, but so. I don't think he sells them. I'll have a quick look anyway. Oh, he's interesting player. All right, thank you. <laughs> The motorbike guy knows the guy in the store and he said he's a bit mad so let's see what is he? he's a bit mad he doesn't leave the office all day uh, supposedly so yeah, they sell bikes you got, you got like two for the price of one yeah she said the coffee wasn't good so she gave me another one no it's because she cleaned the machine already and then you know you have to adjust it again and then you run it several times That's ah yeah yeah, yeah yeah let's put it in the car so we have the gold mine and they have an old bank in new zealand oh my god that is old that is run down. What is it? Oh, he, he lives in here, I think. Back in five years. <laughs> Back in five years. Oh my god. So I suppose he just sells lots of old things, I think. Okay, interesting. That is very interesting. Wow, he sells, he sells everything in there, he does. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So some bikes. Maybe you guys know the area. You can give us an insight. Golden Retriever. Hello. Oh, oh he's smiling. Hello. Oh, hello. You're wagging your tail. Oh, you. Sorry. Oh, he looks that way. Yeah. How are you? Uh, you're beautiful. Oh, not even a bark out of him. No. Let's check out the shop. Another shop we have. All these shops in Central Otago, like everywhere, eggs and I think it's awesome. You know, I haven't seen so many. Oh my god, that is some layout. Oh, wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. I want something like this, Claire. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Do you think she makes this all by herself? That's Look, so cool. She makes all of this. You know, you have eggs like four, eight, four oh, dollars. Scented candles she makes. That is cool. That's an honesty box. Eh. Alright, you want some venison mints and venison sausages? Are you serious? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, should we make? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we have to cook them then. Yeah, we yeah. will. They're frozen at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Did you hunt yeah, them? Absolute yourself? legend. Well, I mean, they came past their land, so I don't exactly hunt for them. Oh. And they're processed properly. They're not just done by us. By yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Really appreciate that. That's yeah. very nice of you. That's dinner sorted. You don't have to do that now. Do you get to sit them in water or hot water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. What's your name? Alana. Alana, nice to meet you. Glenn and Maddo. Glenn and Maddo. Glenn? Yeah. What did you say? Glenn. Glenn. And? Madeline. Madeline. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a real Irish, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's a French name. I'm German. German? She's yeah. German. And you're Irish? I'm Irish, yeah. Something out, what a mix. I know, it's great. I know. Oh, yeah. Love it. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. yeah it's How long have you been here for? Are you living here? Or? Uh, seven months so far. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so where to travel? Where to travel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the North Islands. We're seeing all the Souths now. Yeah. So, yeah. I'd love to do that. Jeez. I'll pay you. Are you very kind? <laughs> Kiwi hot. Did you see something? Why is she so nice? It's so 
Why do you hear the Irish accent? Oh, that's so nice. Wow, what do we have for dinner, Glenn? Got some venison for me. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know why. It's so nice of her just to give us this, but yeah. And um, you should buy something there, madam. I I wanna buy them hair things. Give me give some money and I get it. Huh? I think you have to write something in the book. The visitors book. Look at that. Share your trip. I say a lot of stories in this. That's beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, ten dollars. Two eggs. Get the eggs there. Hmm? Get more eggs. Give ten dollars, yeah. We're gonna be late. we're gonna be cooking up uh, have a luxury meal tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna look after what you're here though. I'm gonna bang a hole, but leave it open. Okay. Broccolini oh. with the oh, wow. oh, wow. oh my god. Tomato relish. Oh my god. No, you don't have to do that. Oh, just yeah. shut up! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Absolute you legend. People should be like that though when you come. Yeah, yeah, no, you have experienced a lot of hospitality in New Zealand. It's amazing, like it is, yeah. it is great. Like you don't get that in a lot of places. So. Do you get that a lot? Do a lot of people stop? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. it's important though. Like, yeah. it's not hard to be kind. Don't cost yeah. No, it doesn't cost know. anything to be nice. Yeah. No, yeah, right. That, Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Make someone else have a better day. Yeah. It I think it made our day a bit. Yeah. My only advice is, if you're going in there, right, make sure you, as you're coming in, to yeah. the domain is. As you come in, there's going to be parks here yeah. that are like with a little bank. Try yes. and get one of them if there's one available. Because if we've got a bit of wind, yeah. I don't know if you set up something outside. No, we sleep in the car. We can still have contains. Ah, yeah, I know the wind's a nightmare, yeah. Um, if you have problems up here, just come back here and, and camp here, okay? Oh, wow. You didn't have issues. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you want? It'll just be wind. I like cats. Do you like cats? I love yeah, cats, yeah. yeah. Put your shit down and have a cuddle there. <laughs> <laughs> So I love nice. your honesty. Get your cat fixed for now. You know what I mean? Gorgeous. Oh my god. Don't How long have we had them? Okay. It'd be nice to have a cat in the car, wouldn't it? Oh, look. Oh! They're really friendly, but oh they're god. really like mongrelly looking. How did you manage that? Because I like greet the hand. I know, that's what I mean. like savages. No, I'm saying, how do you make, get the cat so nice yeah, like that? Because so you gentle. All the time. The, uh, Fridge filled with stuff. Did we just meet the nicest lady in New Zealand? Yes, we did. Oh my god. That was, that so, was nice. so nice. <laughs> Legend. Hey guys, this is what warms their heart when you meet like these genuine nice people. And it's not about like, you know, getting something. It's just like when someone asks you, hey, how are you doing? How's your day? And like just having a nice chat and we love that. I think we are nice people too, so. It was a cute, I don't know what that is. This is really nice. Cucumber. I think it's a cucumber. Cucumber. Some lettuce. Relish. And she, she gave Relish. us literally a dinner for tonight. Yeah, and we bought some stuff of her shop, so. Oh my god, that is so nice. It's so nice. She's like the type of person you want as a friend. Yeah, she's just so person. She's so honest as well. He's so fun. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> Guys, if you're on the way, make sure to check out her place in your little stall. She's She deserves it. She's, she's probably the nicest, gem. Gem nicest the person we've met and it just warms your heart. Oh my and, god. Yeah. This is so funny though. <laughs> so, so, so a, nice. Such a very nice person. Yeah. I wish I had one of these little stalls back home. Maybe one day I have one of these little stalls. We used to have a friend like that, wouldn't I? Oh, we, we do have hang friends out, like that. Hang around with as well. But yeah, that would be nice. Having more friends like that yeah. would be nice. Welcome to St. Batten, Goldfield Town. Slow down, Glenn. Oh, look, is that the limestone? I limestone? think so, yeah. I'm wondering what it's like. There's not much around here, though. There's just nothing here. Especially, I think we've obviously we're it's five o'clock now, so. It's a bit on the quiet side. It took us double double the time to drive here from Comal because we were, as you can see, as you've just seen, we stopped at all the stalls and talked to the people. Oh, that's so cool! That's beautiful. Yeah, Glenn, you can do a whole loop around this lake. We should do that maybe tomorrow in the morning. Yeah, it's can, a yeah. four kilometer, and you can do an entire loop around the lake. It takes you about an hour. Shouldn't be too challenging. After we have successfully done the Kepler and the Roadburn track, so well mm -hmm. manageable. Oh, that looks like a German beer garden. That Literally, looks. that looks like a German town. I, I'm telling you, that looks like a German little village. It's a shamrock. Yeah, it is a shamrock. <laughs> it must be Irish. Vulcan. Must be a little Irish history Maybe here. Maybe it was. That's definitely that's that's the symbol for Ireland. The Vulcan. The Vulcan Hotel. Do you know? Do you know the story of the Vulcan Hotel? So we do have Hotel? a bit of a story here. We did have a woman, a prostitute woman, in the 1800s that slept all the the gold miners, and she was actually killed. And the person that killed her actually stole the gold from her, unfortunately. 
But supposedly she still haunts the hotel at the moment. Yeah, because only haunts the men supposedly. Yeah, supposedly That's she funny haunts, one. she haunts the men uh, because she's probably her ghost is looking for justice or something like that. Yeah, but there is stories that she's still present in the hotel and you can feel her, yeah. especially in number one in the hotel. That's now if you believe it or not. So yeah, so a lot of people have said they kind of feel the shadow of her, the cold breeze. So. Yeah, that's the, that's the kind of the small story of it. That's the short line of it. Yeah. But like it's still open and I think you can actually walk in. 300 people in the whole town, is there? Yeah. yeah. Are you one of them? 200. Are you used to be one of them? 200 in the country and 200 in the town. Oh my God. It is a small town though, yeah. yeah, yeah. Literally you walk up and you're finished. Like you walk down the street and you're done. Oh, that's good. It's a good place. So do you think the hotel is haunted? Absolutely. Do you feel her? Do you feel her? Uh, I don't know. I reckon it is. You'll have to stay the night. Yeah, stay the night. And number one, they say, yeah. Yeah. It's still open. What? It must be a friendly guy. You know what? It's a shamrock there. It must be Irish related, is it? It could be an Irish guy. Oh, mate, you're in New Zealand. There's always a bit of Irish, yeah. I noticed that, yeah. We have a jumble set here. Help yourself, please leave a donation. It's like, I don't know, it's like, whoa, look at this. Oh my god. That is awesome. Oh my god, look at this room. So basically, it's a donation, so you kind of take what you want, but you you kind of oh. you you leave how much you want to leave, you know. Oh wow, you have uh, this for the this would be awesome for the car, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you. Let's plug in though. That is awesome. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, so you leave whatever you think it's worth. It. Oh my god, it's like yeah, that's that's so cool. Maybe you need something. Let's check out. Do we need anything? So then you can get rid of whatever you True. Yeah. I just. You have a protein beaker. You have a pot. That is awesome. It's a great chipper. Oh my god. So you kind of leave whatever it's worth. Um, you might have a rain jacket there, Meadow. No? No. Oh my god. That is awesome. I love these pillows are great. These pillows are really good. Look at this. Your shoes, your boots. We have amazing pillows now. But like, look, they were matching. You have a little bag. That is a sleeping bag, Meadow. Wow. Now we don't need one anymore. That's another one. Now you don't need one anymore. Yeah, we were like desperately looking for a sleeping bag. This one. Yeah, that's pretty awesome though, isn't it? Right. Meadow, I think we need to go. Yeah. What's the house for sale? How much is it for sale? That's beautiful. Look at that. It's so old. It's like an Irish cottage. It is an Irish cottage. It's like back in the 100 years ago. That's what that's what the cottages used to look like back 100 years ago. I mean, they came and built exactly the same. They yeah, that must Ireland. be that must be because of Ireland. There's nothing in there, Meadow. Oh, you go inside. Knock, knock. It's not open. And then you have a little there. Uh, the gold office, Bank of, New Bank of New South Wales. That is so cool. There's a nice bike. Do you want to cycle home? I'll let you cycle home, Ado. Yeah. And I'll drive, yeah? It no, it doesn't. And then you have the post office. Oh, yeah. The yellow building over here. That's awesome. Ring the bell, ring the bell. No, oh, I think it's a post office, Ado. St. Batten's post office, built 1909. How are you doing? Good, How are you? Very good. Do you want to have a look in there? Yeah, oh, it's closed now, is it? Good, okay, then I will do. Some, sometimes you do that and you come to the door and the people are gone. But I understand, yeah, yeah, no worries. No, no, no. Appreciate that, thanks very much. Didn't have to do that now. What is that? You didn't have to do that. No, no, I don't, I don't mind if people showing interest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'll go and get the key. Thank you. Having us a quick, letting us, letting us in. Yeah, you can have a look around as long as you like. I'll come back and lock up in a minute. Okay, is awesome, it, yeah. Is it usually open during the day? Yes. Ah, uh, so we're late. That yeah. looks like an Irish cottage down there. Um, do you think there's any? The whole town was predominantly Irish. Irish. There was oh. 2,000 Irish here. Oh, there were the 2,000 the miners? Street. Yes, in the yeah. street in the 1860s. There you go, Glenn. Yep, and you. Cambrian down the road was mainly Welsh. Mm. Yeah. Because there's, for some reason they didn't get on. Mm. No, that's always been the case for you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I read 13 pubs and 2,000 miners. Yes. And they're the yes. Irish. Yeah. So where's all the pubs? Only one now? Yes, only one. Oh, yeah. they're all gone. Just that one there. Yeah. Where's the ruins from the last? Where's the ruins from the, oh, the pubs? Um, Knocked down? No, they, they took a lot of buildings. After the war, they 
um, came in and got all the corrugated iron and stuff like that. Oh, well, that's pretty really, sad. It's really, yes. So it, where yeah. were the buildings? Just around the street uh, there? Or? Line down here, I'll, just, I'll, look, I'll, I'll oh. show you in here. You got, that's the one. Um, first of all, this is, that's the lake. Now, have you seen the lake? Yeah. Yeah, have you yeah. seen it? Well, that, that's what's filled up. That's 52 meters deep at this end. So the mines were just about like where the, where the lake was? That's where the mine, yeah, it, the whole thing was man made. Uh, yeah, and that's the town. Uh, oh my God, that is actually, yeah. oh, that wow. is mad looking. Yeah. It's like wow. almost, almost nothing left. Yeah, and that's where the lake, that's the road you came in on. Yeah. yeah. And that's where the lake is now. That's, oh, that's there. the hotel, isn't it? That's it there. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so oh cool. Yeah. Wow. That's all that's left. <laughs> yeah. Big difference, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes. And, the, and they mined till 1934. What's all your right. name? What's your name? Keith. Yeah, Keith, yeah. nice to meet you. Glenn. Nice Who? Glenn. Hello, Glenn. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Keith. Madeline. Madeline. Madeline yeah, Lovely. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. Irish, so he's, he's Irish, kind yeah. of nice, his story and all. Yeah. I'm not Irish, I'm German. German. I'm hanging yeah. around with him too much. Is that, is yeah. that what it is? And yeah. you just can't get, think of an excuse to go. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I lived in Ireland and liked the people so much, so. It's yeah. funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and, and I always think the German's quite a strong accent. Yeah. Right? And I, don't, I wouldn't have picked you as German. No, no, you wouldn't. Well, no. it's, no. it's been yeah. a long time since I live abroad, so. Right. Okay, yeah, you, thanks you, so much. you can go upstairs. We're heading upstairs to the post office. We have this whole place for ourselves. Oh my god, that's so nice of Keats. But let us look around. What the hell, isn't it? It's not even renovated. Huh? It's just, it's that's the way just, it's left. That's just what it is. Oh my god, that is awesome. It's literally the way it's. I mean, it, maybe this room. Oh my god. Wow. It's like, this is absolutely amazing. Literally the same wallpaper. Everything is in texture. Uh, that's the original. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Yeah, look. A cup of tea there, there love. Oh, even the smell here, guys. The paintings. Like, you would never really experience a museum like this in its original well, condition. In Europe, maybe. And not really. Everything is like reserved. They trust people not to kind of irritate, like, interfere with anything here. Yeah. It's magic. Look, even the old pipes inside the door in the in the walls. That is magic. I wasn't actually expecting this, to be honest. The buttons is cool. Oh, look at that. That's mad! Oh, uh, so nice! That is incredible! Australia! <laughs> That's the way it was! Oh, so I can't actually get on. So, so who owns it? The dock owns the building though? Yes, um, it was owned by the Crown and they administer it. So yeah, you, but, but you, had to, you had to pay yourself because you have such a passion for it like. Oh yes. That, that's why you're so nice to show us, because yeah, you have such a passion for it. Yes, and, and the town. I mean, the, the, so the amount of... Mainly um, run now by the community here, is it? There's five community people. Community orientated. Five people. Yeah, wow. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Big respect to that, Key. Yeah, that's... Thank you for that. Yeah, that's Good. Pleasure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to go have a beer now. Enjoy yourself, yeah. yeah. Walk a few steps. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I, it was a bit close, and I've, I've cut down a course. Yeah. But I've been working outside all day and I thought the zoo would be... Especially on a hot day like this, yeah? yeah. Is the weather usually like this here? Oh, it's usually scorching here. Oh, yeah, oh. Th this is a strange January. It's not a, not a real hot January. So guys, the guy called Keith that we just met that looks after the post office of five... There's five individuals that look after this whole place. Uh, supposedly the DOC, the DOC uh, organization tried to turn it into a, you know, sort of accommodation for people that pass by. But well, Keith actually stood his ground and he paid $8,000 to pay them out to stop them actually renovating it and keeping it the way it was, which it is beautiful the way it is. And it'd be very unfortunate if the dock actually interfered with the history there in the building. So I'm glad Keith stood his ground. He paid $8,000 out of his own pocket. I can't believe that. He's some man. Big respect to him. Absolute legend. Want to check out the hotel? Yeah, well. That's the hotel. So we have the hotel guys, the famous rosy accommodation. Oh, that's, a, that's such a cool place, isn't it? Oh, wow. It's a really cool place, isn't it? Oh. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? You're well? Very good, thank you. Can we walk down the hallway in there, can we? Yes. Are we loud, yeah? Yes. 
Yeah. Now there are people staying in room two. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, so no worries. He always so can't go into that. Sorry, he didn't get it all down the same. No. He's up to the right. Oh, yeah, number one, yeah. Rosie, yeah. So nobody stays in there? Yeah, everyone stays in there. Oh, yeah. They request it. They want to stay in there. They want to. Oh, yeah. That's so funny, and huh? what did the guests say? Uh, say different people have different experiences. Some people, nothing happens to you, and some people think they feel a little bit of pressure on their chest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just your placebo oh, because you, you know something was happening. You don't know, maybe spiritual. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, but there was just some little no, yeah. The other two rooms are, are little um, bunk rooms, but you're more than welcome yeah. to have a look. You're oh, so cool, cool. thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so cool. So we have the old. Yes, that is so cool. Look how, look how historical and old yeah. it looks. So let's check out Rosie's room. Yeah. Like apparently. Do you feel do you feel do you feel a presence, Glenn? Go I do feel the presence actually. What? Well, you do? This is really weird in here. Yeah, I feel a, it bit is of a weird, weird feeling, yeah. <laughs> this is Rosie's room. So you do have a sink and everything. So can't just imagine what it's like in the eighteen hundreds. People actually request to stay in this room so they can feel Rosie's presence. Some of them do, some of them don't. But how do you feel, Glenn? Same thing. Yeah, you don't get a bit of a weird vibe, yeah. But yeah, no, it's all right. Don't know sleep in here though. I would not sleep in here. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's ooh. just cold. Cold feeling. Cold feeling. <laughs> It is beautiful down it's there. All man -made. It's all man-made. It's all man-made. That's where the mines were. And I think the town came all up to here. Yeah, it's all yeah. knocked down, unfortunately. But we've seen the pictures from the 19, or the 1870s. So it cool. looks so cool, it did. Yeah. But now, look at it. It's completely different. But it is what it is. This is so cool. This is, this is what we love, exploring little towns. Yeah. And talking to locals and meeting a lot of nice locals. Very true. What do you want to do in the morning, the walk around the lake? As I said, it's just an hour. But like we're heading to the domain, what's it called? The St. Bethan's domain, Doc Freedom Campsite. I think it's oh actually yeah. for free, oh but yeah. it's a Doc Campsite. And we're gonna meet Nick and Rachel. If you haven't checked out their channel, they're on YouTube, they're also on exploring Instagram, New Zealand. They're a Canadian couple and yep. they're also currently exploring New Zealand. So yep. Yep. that's the people we're gonna meet and have hopefully a really Two nice chats. evening. Yeah, let's do it. Bye bye, see you later now. Catch you on the other side. Come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. In the morning. But I walk. I always feel late as it's not late, it's not even six o'clock yet. I know. It gets late there. Don't worry. Don't be worry. stressing about this. Do we see to eat? So let's stop for Nick and Rachel, yeah, and see what a park they're in that they're in that four wheel, aren't they? Yeah. It's self contained uh, oh Jesus. This is interesting. There's kangaroos around here as well. <gasps> the wallaby. wallaby. Yeah. Oh, it's in this area. Imagine yeah. you seeing one. Oh, wow. That'd be fascinating. St. Batten's Domain. Is this straight, Lynn? Oh, that's what I'm loving. There's so much space and there's not a lot of people. The central Otago. I don't so think it attracts many people. So there's one spot and there's actually water. We do have water. So I'm not sure. I think it's over there. There's there. There, there she is, there. Yeah, we need we need some socializing. Obviously. I think that's... Hello! There's Nick and Rachel in their self, not self-contained, but they, they built it themselves. Welcome to the Droid Ocampsui. It looks so cool. We're straight, no stress there, Mado, yeah? We're looking good. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. There's flat terrains with loads of mountains in the back. So I'm just staying in the, in the four-wheel discovery here. Can we see a layout, can we? Oh, we've seen it loads of times. Yeah. Good job, good job, Nick, on the self-contained. Nice yeah, right. yeah, it does the yeah. job. Anything. So lucky, like when we first moved here, the people who um, we were living with, like on a short-term basis, like yeah. it's only a two-week rental, and they were the most hospitable people. They had a whole garage full of tools, like everything. They're just like, yeah, use whatever you want. Oh, that's great, whatever. lovely, it's amazing. Yeah. So, guys, we're just hanging out here. Uh, these guys want a little tour of our car I'm so, literally a car i am all about a good man tour okay <laughs> like if you know anything about me i love seeing people let's set up. let's call it car tour because oh, yeah, we just have like a small car 
Definitely not a van. Okay, let's go. So welcome to the compact car, Toyota Wish. It's very discreet as well. You can stay anywhere. That's the thing about a car. It's also very fuel efficient compared to you know a typical van. Um, so the thing is, yeah, we put all the bags in the front seat so we have room on the bed, and we fit perfect. Nice. Okay, wait. So yeah, we're currently cooking up the venison meats. So really, uh, really excited to have an absolute munch tonight for off the farmer. Thanks to the farmer. I forgot the name. What's the name? Um, Can I don't make your burgers. Giving me burgers. You've you lettuce, you've salad, yeah. you've sauce. You have literally everything right. to make a lovely venison burger sandwich. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, happy days. Yeah. So that's the situation. Just offering the people that are, we just offered the guy over here behind us, he's coming back over, some venison sausage. So, because you have too much, so we have to kind of offer around a bit because you don't want to go and go into waste. Also, I probably could eat all, to be also, honest. I could easily. We eat were it. thinking, you know, spreading the kindness back to people because we got them offered. And why not giving it back to the people then? Yeah, true. Yeah. So, we <laughs> have a sausage there. Well, let's see how much we can eat actually, and then. Then you can probably give it out after. Well, let's see the sandwich medal. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's a burger. Oh my god, it's a sausage. It's a burger. freaking sausage. A venison saucy. And it's big whopper sandwich that would cause an absolute fortune in a restaurant. But here we are eating a style, making our own, saving an absolute fortune on the bills. What? It's so nice. Oh yeah, we make it even better in the restaurants. Yeah. What? Good stuff. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Look at that saucy. Guys, we're chill. We, we, we're kind of speaking anyway. Guys, we're still sitting here hanging out with these lovely people. You can't see them because it's too dark. Um, we are getting literally blown away. I think we're gonna continue in the morning, guys. <laughs> Good night. It's so Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Another. Good morning. Another beautiful day in paradise. <laughs> Clean, sleepy head. Is that right? <laughs> um, it's a bit, I think, cloudy today. It's supposed but to be raining. It's supposed to be raining, but hopefully, oh, the, hopefully, it's a funny looking cloud. Hopefully, the weather is still okay. Look at this. We're going to the same patterns now, yeah. So yeah, going back to same patterns. Jump in the water, yeah. Then we can jump in the water, and apparently there's a really nice spot where you can jump in the water. Already fair enough. Yeah, sounds like a solid plan. And the Blue Lake track. I'm talking about this Blue Lake track. It looks like the storm is coming as well, so we better get a move on. Yeah. Okay. So guys, we're just here at the Blue Lake track, St. Batons. We made it back, and we're just gonna do this little walk, one and a half hours or one hour probably. Won't take too long. It's only four kilometer. Doesn't seem too difficult. You walk around this pretty cool lake. Yeah. So we were here yesterday. We just thought we'd yeah. come back for the walk. Look at the cracks. It's all dried out. It looks like out of the desert. Keep to the track. Don't ruin the, the terrain. Ah! Welcome to the desert of New Zealand. In St. Patton's here. Ew. Look at that. That looks so cool and extreme here. That mountain as well looks beautiful. It's all the colors as well and the, and the rockery here. I think this walk is pretty cool. Did not expect this though. It's Rachel and Nick going on a walk together, enjoying the beautiful lake scenery here. So, it's a lot of fun actually. It is a gorgeous place. It's full of history. And we will jump in the water as soon as we get the good opp the, the re opportunity. That was actually so fun and random. We're just on this blue like walk track, and we just meet a lovely the lady. Same woman from, from yesterday. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> the one they gave us the venison meat. Yeah. Just to give you a quick insight. So, this is actually nice. We could say thank you for the amazing food. Actually, really tasted delicious. So yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that, oh, that that's, that's so that's so strange, random. Yeah. It's a big man-made lake, so. It's actually really cool. It's really it is. Cool. I feel like I'm in the Nevada desert here or so. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like this is so completely, again, different from what we've seen before. You know? You've never experienced such yeah. a terrain, actually. So, welcome to Central Otago. Well, yeah. things are quite different. Look at all these gold nuggets everywhere. Any gold? I want some gold. I say there's about a bit of gold in there somewhere. Oh yeah. Okay, it looks more like rocks. <laughs> rocks everywhere. Wow, what a cool view from up here, honestly. Like, 
Living life on the edge. That's life on the edge. Yeah. Look at this. Be careful. Jeez. Oh my god. I mean, it's not that bad. You just fall into the into the thorns, so it's all good. Well, yeah, and then you hurt yourself. So actually, you do can jump in here from this really like high, steep kind of part. Uh, so we've just seen some locals or people down there jumping in, so it is possible. So guys, we just did the, the loop walk around the, the lake. It's actually really nice. Yeah, time to jump in the water now, just beautiful. to refresh. The water. Definitely worth the walk. I Definitely. Highly, Definitely. highly recommend like highly recommend like, like, it. like tops top top walks in, in the world like it, yeah top walks in the world. <laughs> I mean it's just a one hour walk but I think it was worth it you have all the old gold mining equipment here the pipes and the rusty pipes that just left around and that is awesome that is beautiful and this is the ideal place to jump in so ready for a refreshment oh, yeah oh, let's do it Ooh. Oh, that's the spirit yeah Oh, is it cold? It's alright. Yeah. It's alright. Yeah. It's not bad. Great way to obviously do eat after a swim. You know, it's the best of time to stay eat and be fresh, refreshed, and fill the bellies of bellies up before we go. So eggs and some vegetables, guys. Dave, Johnny. Guys, we're leaving this beautiful place. I think behind us. Think about these people. Bye! <laughs> was a pleasure. It was so much fun. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this really cool episode here in St. Bertens. I um, really enjoyed it. I really like St. Bertens. And if you're around, surprise, surprise, surprise. definitely make sure to go to St. Bertens. It's a pretty cool place. It's actually it's really small. small and it's a small community yeah. orientated. It's great, it's you know. amazing. You know, no stress here. It's just really no easy stress. going. Easy going. Really nice people as well in the, in yeah. the area that yeah. actually live here. So. A lot of history to learn from. Yeah. yeah so Especially that there's Irish people here. Of so. course. Of That's course. Like definitely to mention, guys. If you like this video, we hope you stick around. Give us a like. Subscribe. Comment down below and we hope you see you in the next adventure. See you later. Bye. Have me decide.